Welcome to the world of Film Freaks. So in this special video, I wanted to basically give my thoughts on Twin Peaks. Now, on mainly the Twin Peaks revival series that came out this year for 2017. Now, a little backstory on this one. Uh, back in the 90s, there was a little show called Twin Peaks, directed by famous, direct, famous director David Lynch and written by Mark Frost. Basically, the TV series consisted of two seasons and involved a small town called Twin Peaks in Washington State and involved the murder of a woman named Laura, of a girl, a teenage girl named Laura Palmer. In that series, it dealt with the mystery surrounding her death and the residents that were in the town as well of Twin Peaks. And it also dealt with an outsider who is an, out, who is an FBI agent named Special Agent Dale Cooper who comes to Twin Peaks in order to investigate the, the murder of Laura Palmer. And along the way, there's also a weird uh, supernatural presence that's lurking around the, uh, the town of Twin Peaks, and a lot of bizarre twists and turns happen. Now, I'm going to leave it at that because I don't really want to spoil for those of you who have seen the originals, who have not seen the original series. But basically, that series lasted for only a couple seasons, but... When it came on, it was a big deal for a lot of, uh, that it led a huge following over the years for television. And I'll admit that I've never, I've heard vaguely of, of the series, but I didn't get a chance to watch the official series until uh, a couple years, last year when I actually got a chance, or a couple years ago when I watched it on Netflix. And when I watched it, I was very fascinated on how riveting it was, because basically the show was created by David Lynch as a way to in a, in a way to kind of satirize soap operas because the way that the, the show was kind of kind of playing around with the whole murder plot it also dealt with other subplots as well along the town from the along with the residents that had a very soap operas feel but the show itself was was basically aware of it it was very tongue in cheek for it and while there were some very quirky moments it still had a very great edge to it and I actually really got an, I actually consider it one of the best shows that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, for it being a short-lived TV series. Um, it just had that weird kind of bizarre level of, like, being, you know, you're you're fast, you're fast, invested in what's happening with the story as it goes along, but you really, you know, you feel the sense of, like, quirkiness surrounding a lot of the stuff because it has, like, a lot of weird things happening. And that's mainly due to the way that the, 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 the series is trying to get you into this type of world that they've set up. Especially when, not going to go into detail, but in when the seasons progress, you start to realize that there's a darker story that's behind the reasons why all this stuff involving Laura Palmer is happening. And now the series itself didn't really like last long after season two came around because when season two hit, it basically the first season mainly dealt with uh, Dale Cooper and him trying to investigate what's happening around the town, meeting the sheriff uh, <clears throat> Harry Truman. And all the other residents as well, and trying to piece together what why Laura Palmer died and every, and why everything was coming together. And when the second season came around, it basically made it to where after the first half of it, they wanted because the ratings were kind of falling short or were falling short. They just the producers or I think it was uh, I don't know who was behind it, but they it was basically decided that they wanted to pretty much go and reveal who the killer was for Laura Palmer. Uh, Laura, Laura Palmer, and the rest of the season became something completely different. And so I can see why the, the the second season was very divided with a lot of people because they didn't really know how to make of it, and it pretty much ended with a cliffhanger that didn't really uh, really go anywhere after that. And it, was, it had a lot of questions and theories that's been debated over the years. Um, now for me, I always just looked at it as basically... Like the first season and a half, it feels like a straightforward mystery, and the second, the rest of the second season, it, it feels like something straight out of like a, well, I'll just leave that. It, it's something basically, it, it gets really bizarre with the way it progresses. Now, after the series came out, there was also a film that I actually vaguely remember watching that came out called Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me, which I actually have right here. And in this film, this basically was in, was going to be a series of films that director David Lynch wanted to do as a way of telling more of the story of Laura Palmer and the different things that's surrounding. And unlike the TV series, which is you know tells what tells shows her murder, well it shows the aftermath of her murder. 
This movie actually shows is set before the original f series of what led to her death. And so, I gotta admit, like, the first time I watched the film, I was really had no... I didn't really understand the way it, it was going, because it really, like, it, it was kind of a mindfuck for me. Like, you know, it was one of those movies that I, I didn't really get it, you know? I didn't really understand what the movie was trying to say. And as after thinking of it for a while, I actually kind of got... I actually went back and watched it again, and I actually felt like I was more involved with the, with it, and I really got in, interested with the ways of how you really feel of the the pre, the the story of what goes with Laura Palmer, why she is doing, why she uh, what became of her of her death, and I actually really got involved with the dark uh, twists and turns that happen in the film, with the way it goes along and everything. After coming to realize more of the theories that a lot of people that online have have spread about have spread around talking about and so i would admit that when i was hearing that they were going to do another tv series or another uh season of twin peaks it actually got me really hyped because not only was it going to bring back david lynch and a lot of the main cast members but it was able to bring in the same writer mark frost as well and when i heard it was going to be on hbo or i'm sorry showtime they said that it was going to consist of, originally it was going to be like 12 episodes, but then they pushed it into 18 episodes. And that's what really got me excited for that, because I, I wanted to see what else they could do with the story. And to pretty much, uh, not really to go into detail, because I really, you know, was, was thinking everyone could also check out the other seasons. To give you just a brief synopsis of this season, I will pretty much say that the story deals with the same FBI agent, Special Agent Cooper, and the film. the The series deals with a lot of the the a lot of the themes surrounding him, along with the other things that are surrounding the town of Twin Peaks and 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 beyond there uh, and beyond areas of it. Because uh, it doesn't place takes place just in that area, but it also takes place in other areas such as North Dakota. Uh, Las Vegas and other places like that that deal with a, a, another series of things that are happening and you it feels like Cooper's presence in this show is spreading pretty much all around and so when I after watching the season I can honestly say that I enjoyed it per, and I thought it was a great I thought it was a good revival of the series but I will say that um, there's some things that I am very questioning about it that I don't that I'll, I'll get to hear it in a little bit that I won't spoil to I won't spoil at all but with my pros out of the way I'll say that for this season it was great to see Kyle McLaughlin who plays special agent Dale Cooper to come back uh, I really love him as an actor and that was great to see him you know really have a lot of the quirkiness but sometimes you know very straight edge of playing Cooper again and there's also something about him that I can't reveal unless you've watched the season the series so I'll, I'll leave it at that and I also really enjoyed the way that this season actually ups up a lot of the brutality more so than the other two seasons. And it feels like, you know, director David Lynch was trying to, you know, push a lot of the boundaries for some of the stuff. And there are some pretty creepy moments as well that, that happened throughout the season that really threw me off guard when I first watched it. And a lot of it has, and a lot of the, the plot that, a lot of the story that I'm, I'm, that goes along too is is how more how this uh, <clears throat> is how well like the different things that are causing all the stuff that's happening in the other seasons is finally revealed in this. So I, I really am glad that they were able to go beyond of what we saw in the first two seasons and in the movie and actually show us more of how things are coming together uh, with with why everything is happening in the first place. So I, I highly enjoyed the way that we were able to see that in the season. Now, another thing, too, I really enjoyed was a lot. Of, all the performances spot around are, are great as well, especially the additions with Naomi Watts. I really great, enjoy her. As, I really admire her as an actress, and she's a big David Lynch uh, collaborator. I've only seen... I haven't really watched a lot of David Lynch's films, but I know that she's been in some of his other movies, including Mulholland Drive, I believe. And, uh, you know, I've always admired her as an actress, and she really shines here, and... Uh, she also has a lot of great, uh, really standout moments as well in some episodes. And another great thing I enjoyed about the series as well was how when you see a lot of the things that are happening, uh, it can get very artsy for, in some parts, but I, from what I was going with it, I actually really got involved with the way that it was trying to tell on a visual level. 
and a lot of it has to do with you having to think of things in your head in order to interpret what's happening. Especially there are sequences that involve dreams and having to basically show like things that are outside of this normal, outside like in this world, or outside of this world that are that are beyond Twin Peaks. And I, I really was fascinated by that. And plus it was also great seeing the original cast come back as well. And while the original cast don't have quite as much of a uh, going on than some of the other new additions they've had. It was still great seeing them and they, they do have, they do retain a lot of their personalities from the other uh, seasons. Especially uh, Sherilyn Flynn who comes back as Audrey this time. It was great to see her because I, I remember when I first watched that the first couple of seasons I always really, you know, I always had a crush on her because I always thought she was so beautiful and it was great seeing her back in this se season again. And I also had the same reaction and I also, uh, I also really enjoyed the way that there are things that are unpredictable that go along and a lot of the there's there's even other parts of the show where they they always kind of end where there's like a music concert taking place inside this bar and one of them actually has a, a guest appearance by Nine Inch Nails which I thought was really cool and I, I get a really good kick out of them because they're one of my favorite bands and they have this one of the recent songs that came out called uh, She's Gone um, I think it was last year or, or somewhere before that, but ever since I watched their appearance in Twin Peaks, it, that song has just got, it has been so catchy to me. So, now, as for some of my cons, I can honestly say that there are some loose ends that are not really tied up with this season because there are some things that you're going along with that aren't really necessarily revealed. And I, I feel like there were some other things, too, that are very there are some things in the ending of the show that really had me questioning whether or not this was something that was that was something that I'm supposed to be really putting a lot of thought into so I want to go into more detail but again I really don't want to spoil anything about the show but I will say that I enjoyed this season it was great it was I thought it was a good revival and it does have a lot of great performances and it was good to see a lot of things that were further expanded upon from the other two seasons but I felt like there was something a little missing in certain things. Like, I, I felt like they could have maybe done some more with some of the original cast. But uh, I can, I can, and, and some of the things they do with the original cast, I felt like they, they were probably not necessarily needed in some parts. But I get what they were trying to do with having to bring it back. So with that being said, on a TV, sh on a TV show standpoint, I would probably give, like, the original first season a, a 9 out of 10. Um, the second season, I'd probably give like maybe a 8 out of 10. This one, I did like it better than the second season, but I still felt it was kind of like, you know, still leaving some things out that I, I could have enjoyed a lot better with. So with this one, I'm probably going to give an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, with the movie, uh, Fire Walk With Me, I would probably give that one probably... the When I originally watched it, I was going to give it a 5 out of 10, but now that I think about it again, since I kind of got more into it, I'd probably give it maybe a good mm, 7.5 out of 10. It's it's not it's it's definitely something that I can probably enjoy more as time goes on because the show and the, I feel like the movie are things that you really have to put like a lot of thought into because David Lynch I feel like is one of those directors that when he makes things that are meant to be on like a visual level he puts like these little subtle things in there on a direction standpoint that I actually find very clever. And it makes you really interpret. It makes you put in a lot of thought progressing. But sometimes it works. Some a majority of the time, I feel like it does work. But then there's other times I feel like, and in, in throughout this season, it could have maybe done a little more with. It could have maybe not really done too much of that. So with that being said, I, I did enjoy the third season of Twin Peaks, and I, I really would. I really hope that they do come back with another one because I, I definitely would be on board with it. So. For those of you who have also seen the Twin Peaks and also the Revival, uh, what did you think of it? I'm actually curious. Comment below, and if you like what you see here, you can feel free to subscribe, like and subscribe to my channel. And you can also check out some of my other reviews as well on here. And I'll be seeing you here on my next review. I'll see you later.